And welcome to another episode of Wrestling Collector Zone. Today what I have for you is an unboxing. Today purely what I come to you with is only DVDs, only the best. And it's DVDs. I don't know how many are here. Some were from a couple weeks ago that I hadn't opened yet. And these had just came in today in the mail. So it was great to pull those out. I will go ahead and first bust out the ones that came in a couple weeks ago so we can get those out of the way. And so I can get my curiosity out of the way as to what they were because I don't remember. I thought I opened all my DVDs at this point. So let's go ahead first and take a look at our first one we have here, kind of block it off just a little bit. It's just barbed wire around it, but I don't want to gross people off that may be offended by it. This is the history of Onita and FMW here. And this was the volume one version of this. I've also picked up volume three, but this was the volume one. This has got a ton of matches. Him versus Goto, Mr. Pogo, Osako, Goto again, Goto. Uh, ooh, and the Ring of Fire match, which I just went over that I had just got the poster of the other day and signed by Onita, which is the fire match and it's Onita and Goto versus Sabu and Sheik. So I will finally be able to sit down and watch that match. Hopefully they'll have it in its entirety and see what really happened that night. Um, then there is, you know, Tiger Jet Singh, Terry Funk, Mr. Pogo, Mr. Pogo, Matsunaga. Matsunaga is really one of the more, um, I would say like high up, uh, uh, historic or well-known deathmatch wrestlers, but he is one of the ones that um, that he's pretty famous for deathmatch wrestling in Japan a lot, and and uh, he's been in uh, Big Japan Pro Wrestling. He was in FMW, and I'm sure he was in other promotions as well. But speaking of Matsunaga, I have the best of Matsunaga. He was or is. A very hardcore wrestler. This DVD is a two disc DVD. Two disc DVD of some of his more hardcore death matches where there's fire, barbed wire, bath match, uh, explosion, barbed wire, barbed wire, bat match, fire, death match. Lights out, barbed wire, glass board, double, hell death match, but a nails death match. It's just if you are a death match fan, this is something to pick up because he has done some of the more crazier death matches. Like the last match that's listed on here is a scorpion and cactus death match, and a no rope barbed wire glass coffin fire death match. These are just they're. They're not as bad as what they sound. They're more gimmicky death matches. But if you're kind of weak at heart or whatever, offended by that and the bloody wrestling matches, this one's not for you. But if you're a big fan of death matches, I would say pick this up, check it out. I'm gonna be checking it up soon and just look at some of these matches I haven't seen. And it's gonna be great to take a look at those. Now off to two of the earlier ECW DVDs. And by earlier, I mean the actually early days of ECW before they actually started doing actual pay-per-views or um, were even on TNN for weekly shows. First is Hardcore Heaven 1994. And that features Terry Funk versus Cactus Jack as the main event. And also, one of the amazing matches on here is Sabu versus Two Cold Scorpio. I don't know how familiar you guys may be with 
Two Cold Scorpio, but Two, Two Cold Scorpio has been one of my favorite wrestlers for years. I'm not gonna say he's big or heavy. He's, he's got a little bit of a belly, but he is toned and he is more of a high flyer wrestler though. And he can keep up with the best. And just overall, he has been in WWF, WCW, ECW. He's wrestled in New Japan Pro Wrestling, numerous other Japans and our numerous other companies in Japan. And overall, he's just been a worldwide wrestler and he is an amazing wrestler. One of my favorites. And then next up is ECW Big Apple Blizzard Blast, which was took place in New York. And speaking of Tuchel Scorpio, this is Tuchel Scorpio right here. And it is a uh, superstar Billy Graham and it's autographed. And this is an eight by eight size. Really weird. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get a frame to frame this. So we'll just have to see. I may just have to, you know, put this like in a folder or something to protect it in the shield um, sleeve because that's a really weird size to have. Okay, first off, this uh, event had took place in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. There are a hundred plus wrestling stars on this special collector's edition two disc set. And this is Wrestlecade. And it is seven hours long, it says. And it looks like it is 2012 and 2013's event. And it looks like they've got quite a few great wrestlers on here. Uh, let's see. Rock and Roll Express versus the Russians with Ivan Kola. Uh, Raven and Lodi versus Hurricane Helms and Disco Inferno versus Shane Douglas and C.W. Anderson. That's going to be an interesting throwback because for you of those that uh, know, Raven and Lodi, when Raven was in WCW, Raven had his gimmick like he did in ECW too, but it was called Raven's Flock or whatever in WCW, I believe. And Lodi was like one of his guys, that, one of his followers. And then it's kind of a throwback also because during that time, their Hurricane Helms was Shane Helms in WCW and Disco Inferno. So that'll be interesting to see them kind of go head to head versus Shane Douglas and CW Anderson. There's quite a few different theme death matches. Like if I jump over to 2013, uh, anything goes match between Matt Hardy and Carlito. There's an I Quit match. There's a Lumber Jill match, which would be two females in a Lumberjack match. A uh, five-way scramble, eight tag team gauntlet. Just overall, it seems like this will be a really good watch, but it's going to be long. So I'll probably watch it one of the weekends and take a look overall, see how good it really is. And then I can let you guys know by doing a review on it. This here is the best of BWO, the Blue World Order, which was, and they were out of ECW. And I'm interested in specifically taking a look at this one because around, I want to say it was, I think, 1997 or so when there was a few of the ECW guys that were brought over to WWF because of some kind of lawsuit discrepancy between them. And Paul Heyman settled it by saying, um, let us co come over to WWF, do some kind of small invasion or something on Raw. Um, and that's the way they settled it. If I remember right, that's what happened. And this has the footage of when they went to Raw and it has the backstage footage 
with BWO that was never released on video, WWF Raw event. So I was really interested in picking it up specifically for that. I am a BWO fan because of Blue Meanie, Steven Richards, and Nova that are all in there. So overall, this will be great to look back at some of their matches in the early, early ECW, but also to see kind of what happened in that backstage footage while they were at WWF because of being two different promotions you might have some people that you know some of the wrestlers that might not take too kindly to some of the other wrestlers coming in or something like that but it may be reversed i'm just kind of interested in seeing that because i've never heard of too much stories about what happened backstage during that time and then the next one which is going to be a great one to do and this is the shoot interview of the late great rowdy rowdy piper and it looks like they go over everything on here. His time in WWF, early WWF, during his training when he was trained, his time going to WCW, um, WCW and NWO information, just all sorts of stuff. And this is a two disc DVD as well. And this is gonna be just an interesting interesting shoot interview because if there's one person that i would say i i love to hear talk or loved at that time to hear talk before he had passed away god rest his soul was rowdy rowdy piper he had interesting stories he always had something interesting to say no matter what whether it offended somebody or not he would shoot off at the mouth and he would just tell the truth. So this will be a great one, interesting to see. He was one of the best people in wrestling ever to be able to give promos and all that. So I just really look forward to watching that. Even though that's kind of gonna be a longer watch, it'll just be great to, you know, kind of hear his voice again because I will say that's one thing I really do miss, and I was, it, it hit me in the heart when I heard that he had passed away, because I always listen to Roddy Roddy Piper's podcast, and his was one of the best podcasts, and it just, at times, I'll go back and kind of turn it on, again, just to kind of hear him talk a little bit. Uh, he was a great talker. And just his stories were so interesting. Even in his podcast, he would tell random stories about in his wrestling career. And he was a really great man and a great wrestler. So it'll be great to actually watch that and hear some of uh, his stories and stuff like that. All right. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Are these DVDs, pickups, and the picture that I picked up again. I'm glad to be able to share these with you. Uh, I don't know if one of these will be the one that I'll choose to do my next review on yet. So I still have to kind of decide on what my next DVD review is going to be. But it was, again, great just doing a box opening for you guys. Showing you guys the DVDs I picked up. If you see one of these here that you're interested in me doing a review on before uh my next review then just please like drop a drop a message in the comment and let me know or any of the other dvds you see me pick up and just let me know what you're interested in seeing the uh reviews on and thanks for joining me tonight make sure to hit the like the subscribe and the notification bell if you want to see more and you guys have a great night this was wrestling collector